to please consider coming to my restaurant or not. I'm your host, Morris Brickabrac, and here we are in Brighton, Kentucky, and we meet again at the Hewn Iron Inn. Well? New Year's Eve it turned out to be a fine evening at the Hewn Iron Inn. I had been a little disappointed with the number of reservations, but the building was full at midnight, just in time for the roast's fine corpse, and the Hewn Iron Inn was clearly not the place to be in Brighton, Kentucky. Everyone joined to sing Deutschland über alles, and we enjoyed the cold duck und roast Schweinhorn with the sauerkraut. I, I believe Shakespeare referred to it as wholesome dog with Got a snipe cabbage. Or not. Ah, what magus is right. What better way to stick it to the jewels of the Arabs than to go on the carcass of the devil's own meat? Though, the mummy band performed for us. And I thought they did a really excellent job. I had worked for weeks promoting the evening, decorating, working with staff on all aspects. By the time everyone went home, I was delighted with exhaustion. Exhausted with delight. And coming down from amyl nitrate. I went home at 3 a.m. and slept right through till 5.30 p.m. on New Year's Day. Everything will be back to normal this week, except that we will have our live music on Saturday instead of Friday this week. On Saturday, Dr. Antonio Salieri, a veterinarian at the Mozart Clinic for Tone Deaf Canines, will return with his band, a combo known as Milk Bone Jars. After the Salieri family small business that turns bones into milk. Mm. I think Cole Ezra should get a job there. Or not. I have heard uh, Dr. Salieri is an undercompetent and maniacal saxophone player. In addition, his daughter, Phi Da, from the Latin, I'm told she's got quite a feminine ending. Or not. She is following in her father's dungarees, a lesbian sax sensation by the age of 13. Fida can be found most evenings at Sappho's Grotto, cultivating the heroin habit that is such a necessity in the world of jars. Or not. The Hugh and Iron Inn rarely offers music on Saturdays, but this week you can enjoy a special Saturday night in downtown Brighton with dinner on the jazz show. There is a two pimps cup minimum for the show, and music will start promptly as soon as Friday's suboxin has been delivered. Or not. <laughs> Uh, Negroes are now perennially needed. Bar Negress and Bar Negro, responsible position for qualified Negro applicant. Four dollars to two dollars per hour. Good whip potential. I've lowered my wages as low as I can go. This is available till the end of January. You may have the Cuban liquors if you are interested. Soon I will be done with the hiring of the Negro, the hiring of the Negro, the hiring of the Negro. Soon I will be done with the hiring of the Negro. I'm going home to see Colesra. Glory, hallelujah. Oh, we miss the professors and graduate students who come for happy hour, usually on Fridays, but sometimes on Thursdays and Saturdays too. Still, 
We have had our share of Brighton's business leaders over the holiday. Dirk from Dirk's Quad Sales had a Miller Lite bottle and left in a hurry. Cole Ezra says he was just trying to be friendly. Dave and Sally from Dave and Sally's Live Bait and Dead Fish, our local Anglo-Saxon angler headquarters, enjoyed Cole Ezra's to soy milk tofu ironic semen's chowder with complimentary fried rococo balls. And our mayor, Lefty Wainwright, enjoys our drought mountain dew after a hard day of campaigning for re-election. Lefty is facing a stiff challenge, running against local dentist Floyd W. Root. So he has decided to make his crack smoking public in the hope that he will experience the political success that mayors in Canada enjoy. I am also encouraging him to put on weight, as I feel it is not just crack cocaine, but obesity that seems to add to the political longevity of Canadian mayors or not. Dr. Root does have a significant lead in the polls. After all, he is a dentist in Kentucky, so he knows everyone. We offer a selection of our appetizers, a selection of beers and wines and cocktails, all at half price. If you haven't dined at the Hewn Iron Inn, this is a good way to give us a try. If you bring some friends, you can have a very good time relaxing in our cozy English pub. One advantage of the uh, holiday break for locals is it's, it's much easier to park in downtown Brighton or not. Uh, you can almost always find a parking spot on South Coon Street near the Hewn Iron Inn. But it is especially easy during the Christ's Mass break. Our Saturday fine dining special. Please feel free to receive a free glass of house wine or one pint of drop beer when you order any fine dining entree. This is an ongoing promotion. Ongoing until I can get rid of this batch of house wine or not. This week's fine dining menu includes filet mignon. Comment allez-vous? Mais y'a mon mollis. The praised roadkill shank, still sponsored by the committee to exonerate and elect Phil Robertson. Dry caressed Duck Dynasty breast. A Dutch haggis. It's also known as chopped Rotterdam sheep organs in an Amsterdam goat stomach. Of course, my fizzle and toss. And pasta a la Arrivederci Roman Polanski with coarse ground filberts. Or not. Contact us by phone at 555-444-6666 for reservations, parties, or anything else. Visit the Cuban Liquors website for bills of fare and private party information. Also find us on the Facebook. Or not. Well, it sure has been cold this week, but I understand that the worst will be over by Thursday. But we always keep the hue and iron in cozy and cold weather with logs burning in our log burning fireplace. I've also found that the black blackbird vodka makes a wonderful accelerant. Cole Ezra and I played a wonderful after hours game of arsonist and fire marshal the other evening in his youthful ardor. C.E. spill his British pint of blackberry vodka into the fireplace. He is now completely hairless. So everything ended well. Or not. I hope to see you in the restaurant sometime of the weekend. I can't guarantee much. But I can promise you a meal. And you are sure to have a time. Thank you for watching. Please consider coming to my restaurant. This has been Morris Brickerbrack, riding off into the sunset of Brighton, Kentucky. Just an old family recipe. Just a simple ball fried in red.
Rococo style. Fried Rococo balls. I'm all alone on the trail. Searching for the ghost of Elvis Presley and Winston Churchill's mother. Once again, I may not find them. But at the end of the trail, it is comforting to know that that is my restaurant to consider coming to. Or not. Please, consider coming to my restaurant. It's so lonely on the train. Thank you. Thank you very much.